Yesterday, shortly after 5.30 p.m., there was a house fire on High Bridge Road, or known as Route 92 in Manlius. Two men were able to escape the house when the Fayetteville, Manlius, East Syracuse, DeWitt, and Manoa firefighters all arrived within five minutes after the 911 call. The fire was believed to have started on the left side of the house in the second floor bedroom. Firefighters claimed that when they arrived, two of the five skylights in front of the house had popped out, and they could see the fire through the windows. It took the firefighters about 40 minutes to put out the fire. Due to this, they had shut down the main part of Route 92, which closed traffic. They had reopened that area around 9 p.m. The two men from the house who now lost their home are currently being held by the American Red Cross and are staying with their families. Today we'll decide not only who will be the senators representing Georgia for the next six years, but also which party controls the Senate. Thus, how much President-elect Joe Biden will be able to accomplish within the next two years. The Democratic candidates are documentary film executive John Ossoff and Reverend Raphael Warnock. The Republican incumbents are Senators Dave Perdue and Kelly Loeffler. According to Georgia's rules, candidates are required to win at least 50% of the votes in order to be declared a winner. Neither candidates did this in November and therefore caused this runoff. Before today, over 3 million people had already cast their ballots in early voting. The implications of this election have not been lost on either party of this nation. As combined, both races spent over $832 million, becoming the two most expensive Senate races in history. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Christmas was a lot different than what it usually is um, because of the coronavirus. Here's a little insight on what our Christmas was like. Merry Christmas, everyone. Let's eat. Finally. You there, Grandpa? Y yeah, I'm here. I, I, I got the Zoom working. Perfect. Mom, can you pass the ham? I thought you were a vegan. No, I'm a the meat in. A uh, what? You know, a the meat in. It's when, like, you eat vegetables, but then occasionally, if you have to, you eat meat from an animal that only eats vegetables. Do you think the pig wore a mask when he was in his pen? I'm so sorry you couldn't make it today, Dad. We invited Mr. Avellino to join us since he's in quarantine at the high school this holiday. Where is he? The stupid Wi-Fi! We do look a lot like our parents. <laughs> And now, on to your sports. SU men's basketball is set to resume tomorrow with a game against Pittsburgh at 4.30. Former SU football coach Doug Marone was fired by the Jacksonville Jaguars following their 15th straight loss to the Indianapolis Colts on Sunday. The Philadelphia Eagles are facing controversy over after some are saying that they lost to Washington on purpose to keep the Giants out of the playoffs and to secure a better spot in the draft. The controversy comes after head coach Doug Patterson took out the Eagles star QB Jalen Hurts in the fourth quarter of the three-point game and replaced him with third-string QB Nate Sudfield. Peterson insisted that he was coaching to win. <laughs> 